most often asked me to play, and you probably can guess what, what Irish tune that is.
four people left on the boat. They actually called it a parting. And um, when people traveled by boat to a distant land in hope of a better life, most of them never saw any of their families again. And this is a song about that uh, parting. It's called The Parting Glass. seven years old, a smaller harp than this, it just intrigued me. When I was six, I decided I wanted to play the harp. Wow. So I, I seen some pictures, I'd never seen one live, and I'd heard it, and um, so I started pestering my parents, and I told them I wanted to play the harp, and they wouldn't you like to play the piano, dear? <laughs> so I said, no, I wanted to play the harp, and I, you know, like parents do, they said, um, We'll see when you get a little older, thinking this will go away. Um, so every couple weeks I, I pestered them for a whole year, and then I started taking care of lessons. So. Um, so I'm one of those rare people who's still doing the same thing <laughs> when they were seven years old. Um, and uh, my power went out yesterday, and I was practicing in the dark, so you know, I still do something that has no technology. <laughs> We're going to take, um, do something a little bit different. We are hoping that you can help us out with a couple of uh, what I call the American Irish songs. <laughs>
before Ireland, goes back 5,000 years ago, there were harps in ancient Egypt. Um, and the harp became very popular throughout Ireland, uh, ancient times up to the present. It's the national symbol of Ireland now. So uh, I was in Ireland a couple of years ago and I saw a building with a harp on it. I thought, oh, it must be a harp store or a music store. I went running over and it was the Department of Transportation. 